But uh, I actually have to go because my notes say that I have to go to Ashburn in County Meads to Emerald Park. So um, I better get going. I'm here in Emerald Park in County Meath. They've opened it up just for me and I'm about to find out how the team take care of their birds of prey. Let's go have a look. So we're here in the aviary of Emerald Park in County Meath and I'm joined by Mike. Mike, tell us, what do you do here? So I'm the avian manager here in Emerald Park mm -hmm. and as you can see here, I work with birds. So what kind of birds would you have here in the aviary? So here we have all sorts uh, from vultures, eagles, falcons. We also have the three species that have been reintroduced here in Ireland, the red kite, the golden eagle and the white-tailed eagle. And of course, I mean, birds of prey, they're not your typical bird that's flying past the window day to day. What's the key difference? The key difference is they eat mostly other birds, as you okay. can see here. And they're all prey animals. They're all looking for live animals. Yeah, of course, after vultures, they'll be looking for something that's dead, but technically that's not a raptor. A raptor is actually a bird of, uh, that is catching their prey with their talons. Okay. Like the, the hawk you see flying around or the peregrine catching their pigeons or uh, starlings. So you might say the they're very talented at catching their prey. They are indeed. Thank you for laughing, Mike. I really appreciate it. Need the laugh. <laughs> of course, we're here today to talk about telemetry, which is very important here in the Avery. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? It is crucial. It has yeah. really changed our lives. Uh, traditionally, you would use bells. So the, the bird or the falcon or the hawk would fly around the bell so you could hear where they are. And of course, if your hearing is not as great as it used to be when you're getting older, or if they're just too far, you're not going to be able to hear them. Uh, so that's why we have now a telemetry set, which is radio telemetry and it will help you find the bird on a greater distance. Oh. And it's quite a bit of a techno technological kit there. Um, this here is a receiver, so that just receives the signal wow. that this little transmitter gives off. And for every different bird, we have a different transmitter. So this here gives off a, a radio frequency that is able to pick it up. This only weighs nine grams. So it is able to go on a tail or on the back of a bird. And for any smaller bird, you have an even smaller one. It goes up to about three grams. And then this here is a bit of GPS. So that helps you find them a little bit on a greater distance, but as well, you're able to see exactly how high they are, how fast they're flow flying, what the temperature is, and how far they're away from you. Wow. And it just gives you a bit of an insight of what the bird is actually doing. And what is the what's the furthest distance a bird has ever flown? The furthest distance, I mean, there's quite a few records of, let's say, storks flying all the way to Africa, and you have griffin vultures flying from all the way to France, or from the Pyrenees up to the Netherlands. Wow. About locally, we had a white-tailed eagle that went, was released here by the Golden Eagle Trust in 2007 called Star, and that one flew all the way to Scotland, didn't like it, and came straight back. <laughs> I have a very, very important scientific question to ask you. Did any of those birds come back with accents? Unfortunately not, no, no. Well, Mike, thank you so much. I feel like I've learned so much and I think I might fly off and learn a bit about telemetry myself. So telemetry works in many ways, looking after the birds of prey here in Emerald Park, tracking your heart rate in hospitals, even tracking the location of spacecraft deep in the solar system. But most importantly, to help operate this big roller coaster behind me to help things like speed, acceleration and G-force. So wish me luck. So you even have telemetry in smart watches. So I wonder what my heart rate will be like after riding one of the biggest wooden roller coasters in Europe, the Ku Cullen. Let's do it. Okay. So we're about to see if uh, telem <laughs> telemetry. Let's see if telemetry is a scary in practice. I kind of feel like a bird of prey in my skin. Oh, well, oh, well, I certainly learned a lot 
about telemetry and uh, oh my heart rate says it's never gone that high before but look enough of all this fun here in Emerald Park we gotta get back to the guys at the studio 